department 024, which happens to be finance. And I would like to request the amount of $1,000. As soon as I save this, you notice that the budget check results is going to have a green circle with a white check mark on it. If that appears, that means your budget control works fine and is looking at that specific account and is going to monitor it. However, I cannot select update budget balances because this specific budget model and this budget code requires a workflow. Therefore, I need to submit this workflow. I did not define the workflow. I didn't create it. I am reusing an organizational wide workflow. I submit this and now I can view the history of this workflow to see who is going to get it. If I refresh this, you notice that the status is set to pending and my user has an affiliation with this employee and I've submitted this. I wait a few seconds and I refresh it and it's going to tell me exactly who is going to get this work item because I didn't create this workflow. I don't know who the person is that is supposed to approve my budget. I'm going to refresh this and after a couple of minutes, the name will appear here. As you see, the approval got started. Now, as you notice, Brad Sutton happens to be the budget manager. You have two choices. Either you log off and log on as Brad, or let's assume Brad is out today, and I'd like to reassign it to somebody else. In order to continue with my demonstration, I assign it to myself, and I click reassign, and I refresh. This now got assigned to me. I'm going to carry on and I act as Brad and I go to the comment and I go to the work item 